Do you want me to explain the test? Hmm? Okay. Your driving test will last for 40 to 45 minutes, covering various roads and traffic conditions. Throughout the drive, follow the road ahead unless you will arrive road at your destination at 10:37 a.m. Our traffic signs direct you otherwise. Okay. At any stage, if I want you to turn left or right, I will let you know in plenty of time. Okay. There will be independent driving for roughly 20 minutes and you will follow the set nav during that. At any stage, if you're not sure, even during your independent driving, where we are going, please ask and I will help you with it. We will be doing at least one maneuver and I might ask you to do an emergency stop as well. Okay. Happy with that? Yeah. Good. So today, straight away, you will start with the independent part of your driving test. Uh, start the engine once you can. So drive on once you're ready. We are turning left and turn left again and then set never will kick in. So Shahrukh today is doing his first mock test and he has started to drive with wonderful all-around observation with a good signal as well. At the end of the road, turn left, then go left on the roundabout. An excellent approach speed with proper mirror signal, good use of body as well, wonderful. Go left on the roundabout, first exit. Again, multiple mirror checks, very good timing for the signal, excellent observation, very effective observation. Excellent. So he was checking on his right side and a very quick glance on the left to make sure that the road is clear. After, After the junction. 100 yards, cross the roundabout, second exit. And before the traffic light, very good mirror checks. Cross the roundabout, second exit. Very nicely done mini roundabout. Ahead, there was no need of signal. He did not signal. At the same time, very effective observation. Against the bend, excellent use of body to identify any surprises or hazards. Good use of speed as After well. After this junction, pull up and park on the left, somewhere on this pipeline. Very good stop. Effective mirror checks, very good use of speed, excellent Drive timing for the signal. Way. Effective six point check, especially right mirror and right blind spot, checking for the second time and right mirror constantly checking, amazing. So far Shahrukh has not made any driving fault. After. 300 yards, go right on the roundabout, third exit. As soon as the Setna finished its instructions, Shahrukh was already checking his mirrors. Done very nicely. Go right on the roundabout, third exit. Good timing for mirrors and very good timing for signal. First exit is gone, he's just about to touch the second exit, 
very good mirrors and signal. Approach speed should be just slightly slower so he will have more time for the mirror checks, effective mirror checks. At this stage speed limit is 30 miles per hour. Effective mirror checks all the time. And a good use of speed as well. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout first exit. On this roundabout, Shah Rukh made one minor driving fault and that was about the approach speed and use of brake. He was slowing down quite effectively, he Cross was checking the on the right as well. First exit. The view is restricted on the right, so you know, keep your speed decently low instead of just reaching and then suddenly. So this is where he did that minor. Few traffic calming measures on this road. The sign says road is narrow on the left side and the oncoming cars will have priority. Excellent. Before changing position, the way he was checking his mirrors, that was really good. This time Shadow has priority. And we can see he's checking his set nav as well and planning well ahead against the bend, leaning slightly towards the right. That that makes his driving even more safer. It's so good to look at such a driver. After 300 yards, go left on the roundabout, first exit. Very impressive, before moving to the other lane, he was checking his right mirror, and then when he was coming back, he was checking his left mirror. Go left on the roundabout, first exit. That's very good timing for the mirror signal. Nice approach speed. The road over here was slightly uphill, so he was doing a bit of extra acceleration before changing the gear. After Again, that is really good. Yards, go left on the roundabout, first exit. Go left on the roundabout, first exit. Again, very good timing for the mirror signal. Excellent use of posture, very effective observation very happy so far. So far Shah Rukh has done just one minor fault and that was use of brake. A single carriageway with national speed limit, so here speed limit is 60. Again because of hill Shah Rukh delayed his gear change which is really good. When you're going uphill you need to build a little bit of extra speed before you do the gear change. Ahead of us, it will be a single lane sometimes and you have to use and you have to identify passing places. Good use of speed. So on the left there is a passing place but because there is no one coming, so it's okay to carry on. Now the passing places are on the other sides. So after 400 yards turn left, so definitely there is a turning coming soon. Shadow got another driving fault here and it was a minor driving fault for approach speed again and later on he told me he was thinking that maybe it's just a bend. So if you have any confusion, if you're not sure whether it's a bend or whether it's a T-junction, give yourself time, approach slowly. But again. It was perfectly fine. He slowed down at the end. He checked on both sides. He did the mirror signal. So not a, not a big deal. But definitely be mindful about such situations. Still we are on a single carriageway with national speed limit and that is 60 miles per hour. You don't have to be at 60. But whenever you get a chance, build up whenever you are reaching a bend. Uh, even if you are reaching a tight bend, just slow down. Identify any any signs, any hints.
Very confident drive on this country road. Excellent progress. The way he was dealing with the bends, the way he was keeping the weight of the car balanced on all four tires, that is again amazing. An excellent reduction in speed against the bend. And now this new speed limit is 30 miles per hour. And when your speed changes, you have to check your mirrors. If you're slowing down, mainly you should check center and left mirror. However, if you're building up speed, you should check center and right mirror. Shah Rukh did very nicely. He was checking his center and left mirror. Again, reaching a bend, passing through a village, passing through some residential area, constant mirror checks, use of posture, excellent. Excellent reduction in speed against the pedestrian, give him chance to cross the road completely. Very good mirror check before changing the position. Again, before changing position. When he was just level with the last parked car, he did his mirror signal and then he moved towards the left. That was done very nicely. Thank you. Drive on once you're ready. Excellent for preparing the car, then effective all-around observation, constant right mirror check, even checking right blind spot for the second time. Brilliant. Perfect move off. Again, very good use of body, keeping himself visible by changing slightly, moving towards the right side. And then when he was coming back again, he was checking his left mirror very effectively. So the speed limit has changed to national, it's a single carriageway and national speed limit is 60 over here. So once it is safe, can you show me how will you use the horn? Like this. Can you please do that? Thank you. That is one of the show me questions during the drive exam and can ask you. For example, how to turn on the rear demister, how to turn on the front demister, how to use the horn, how you can turn on your dipped headlights. Again, you don't have to do it straight away. Turn left. At the end of this road, there was a slip road. So Sharuk has two options. The best option is if you join the, if you do mirror signal left and use the slip road and then join the main road. But the way he did, he just went there, stopped at the giveaway lines and then checked and went. I mean, that was fine. And a little bit of use of slip road as well. So I have no problem with this as an examiner. So here Sharuk was slightly above the speed limit, so that was his third driving fault, 
minor driving fault and that was appropriate speed before slowing down again he's checking his center and left mirror staying more towards the left excellent very good observation after this roundabout Shahrukh has made his first serious driving fault Just for planning, at next roundabout you will be turning right. So it's a dual carriageway, means one way. I told him in plenty of time that he will be turning right. So he made the right decision, he was moving towards the right. And unfortunately I have to intervene because he was slow. The traffic behind him was slow. And the person on our right side was giving him plenty of chance to change the lane, but he did not intervene. I gave him plenty of opportunity, but did not see any reaction from him. So that is why I have to verbally intervene into his driving. And that is a serious driving fault. If examiner has to physically or verbally intervene into your driving, then unfortunately that is a driving fault. Take the exit, then exit ahead. And he also made an a minor driving fault on this roundabout after the lane change he was turning right third exit but there was no signal so that will be classified as a minor driving fault after 300 exit. yards take the exit Keep breathing. After That's all right. 300 yards, go left on the roundabout, first exit. So if you have made a driving fault in, in your test, you don't need to procrastinate, you know, you just need to stop go thinking about it and focus on the ne next exit. thing. That was a very good move. Shahrukh was slowing down. He was looking at the bus. He was checking his right mirror as well. That will be the end of your independent driving. From here, I will give you directions. And he was already in the process of overtaking the bus. So then if the bus driver indicates, then because you're already there and it's the best option is you just carry on with what you have decided to go. But be very careful in case if there are any pedestrians in front of the bus who are trying to cross the road. So that was the end of his independent driving test. So far he has done four minor faults, two were the approach speed and uh, one serious undue hesitation and the third one was uh, a way he was supposed to signal for right turn, third exit but he was not signaling. At the end of this road you will find a blue circle and it says left turn only a one way so examiner will completely examiner will remain quiet and it will be your job to identify that sign and react accordingly because at the beginning of the test they have told you just follow the road ahead unless road markings or traffic signs direct you otherwise so here the traffic sign was directing you clearly a blue rectangle which tells you it's one way which means no one should be coming from the other side but because we are just behind the town so there is there might be lots of pedestrian activity there can be some buses at the bus stops after the bend there is a traffic light and the road marking clearly says turn left so again, as an examiner, I was quiet, completely quiet, and Shahrukh was supposed to read that marking 
by himself. This is where the left turn marking was. So it's a one way. You can only turn left. Sometimes my learners, they ask me, do we still need to signal? And my answer is yes, because we don't know what is happening across the bend. So you, if you signal people, if someone is crossing the road, they can understand your intentions better. Do not assume that everybody knows the highway code. So here I did not tell anything to Shah Rukh and which means he was supposed to follow this road ahead. Wherever the road was going, he will just follow it. Speed limit at this stage is 30 miles per hour. Again, before slowing down and before coming to a complete stop, he checked his mirrors very effectively. Excellent mirror check before moving off. Very nice mirror check due to pedestrian crossing, meeting traffic situation before changing his position. An excellent, excellent mirror check. Roundabout ahead, second exit, please. Approaching a mini roundabout with a very restricted view. So approach speed should be very decent so you give yourself plenty of time to make a nice decision Because we have a cyclist lane on our left side, so it is really important that you check your left mirror very effectively, especially when you're slowing down here. So if there is a cyclist, there is a possibility you will match his speed and the cyclist will try to undertake you. So constant effective mirror check. Joining the main road from the slip road. The signal can be done slightly earlier because the thing is, when you can see and when you can be seen, people should understand your intentions. Just for planning, you can use the second and third lane. Ahead of us, there will be a split in the lane. We are turning right, taking third exit. But unfortunately, the signs over there are not very accurate. They are accurate, but they are very far from each other. So that's why sometimes you will be helped by the examiner by saying such things just for planning ahead you will be using. You can use either lane or you can use second and third lane or middle and the right lane. Excellent lane discipline. Luckily he cancelled his signal. Otherwise it could be a serious driving fault because second lane can be used to for the second exit or for the third exit. So we were taking the third and exit the but next he started to signal left while we were just somewhere between first and second exit. So that signal can be misleading but he cancelled it. That's why he just saved himself. At 
next round about Sharuk. Ahead, second exit, please. I was not very pleased with that truck driver. He should have waited for us. But the reaction by Sharuk was amazing. He slowed down, but not a kind of emergency stop. Excellent position. So if the road is really wide along with the roundabout, you don't have to keep maximum towards the left. Just use common sense. Very good mirror check, very good timing for the signal. An excellent position for the left turn. Good timing for the signal, but mirrors can be a bit more effective, but not bad at all. After the signal, he was checking his mirrors. If you can do before the signal, that is the best thing, because test sheet clearly says use of mirrors before signaling. Very effective mirror check, very good timing for the left signal, speed limit is 30. Because you're doing 40 miles per hour and even before that slightly driving at high speed so sometimes and it's a very monotonous road you know it's just a straight road so people tend to go above the speed limit so be very careful about it excellent multiple mirror checks very good timing for the signal and entering in the filtered lane perfectly done good decision Again, Sharuk is very decently looking as far as possible when he's dealing with the bends. He's just easing off. Excellent use of posture to have a better view. Excellent mirror check before changing the position and moving to the other side of the road, looking well ahead of the bend, checking left mirror to come back. So he will be finishing his driving test in next two minutes. Unfortunately, he was not successful due to just one driving fault, one uh, serious driving fault where I have to intervene verbally and that is when he was trying to change his lane. He did everything correctly. Uh, but the person on the right was leaving plenty of room for him and they were all giving him chance and he was not moving 
so he was just holding the traffic back and I have to intervene then to tell him that it is safe to change lane. So then he did. So because of that verbal intervention from the examiner, that will be classified as a serious driving fault. So he's finishing his driving test with the forward bay parking. Reverse out of it, face to the right or left, it's entirely up to you. But remember, we are going towards the exit. Okay. Excellent all around observation, very good blind spot checks. Both the blind spots are equally important. So the situation, because the situation in the car park can change any second. To the move? Yep. We are going towards the exit. That's excellent. Signaling left, not just assuming everybody knows your intentions that you are turning left. Good all around observation, good approach speed, good use of body. The next turning on the right, please. Very well done for looking across the bend because if someone will be coming, he has to give way to them. So that is where you and he has finished his driving test. Thank you. Secure the car. 